it's a it's a wonderful formula like supergroup did they thing with that one they did their big one but that price is also a big one <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne Mayrie, and in today's video, I will be giving you recommendations for Sephora's 2023 Spring VIB sale. If that's something you're interested in hearing about, continue watching. But before we get into that, I would like to please ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. So some of the items that I will be recommending I actually have on hand, so I will show you the actual item too. And if you're familiar with any of my other videos, like my vlogs or like my Sephora hauls, you have heard about these products already because these are products that I actually use, I actually like. I'm not about to be recommending y'all nothing that I have not tried myself, that I've just heard about other people talking about. Not that type of girl. So let's get started. So just to give y'all some information on the sale, the sale will be going on from April 14th to 24th. There are different tiers of the sale based on your status, um, your VIB status with Sephora. So you will get various amounts, um, various discounts based on your sale and then I mean based on your status and also you have different times that you are able to access the sale. So if you're at the highest tier, you get to access the sale first and so on and so forth. So you might wanna go on Sephora's website to check out what your status is and when you will be able to access the sale and what is the discount you are going to be getting for your products. So first up, she is no stranger to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. And with all these products, I'm going to tell you the price as well because I feel like the point of the VIB sale or what you should be trying to do when you shop this sale is get the most expensive products or the products that you usually don't want to spend your coin on because obviously you're getting a discount. So it's best to stock up on these products at this time or maybe try out a product that you've been eyeing um, so you can get it at a discounted price. So this is $48 for the regular size and I actually have her right here. Now I have spoken about this product on my channel multiple times because I really like this product. Now I have eczema, I have really dry skin, my skin is really sensitive, um, especially during the winter months, you know, usually it's typical for your skin to be at its driest. So because this has um, ceramides in it and it's ultra hydrating, it actually says what it does. And when I put this on, I instantly notice a difference in my face and I notice a difference in the texture of my skin over time. So even when I wake up in the morning, I notice that my skin is soft. Even though it may not be as moisturized as it was when I went to sleep that previous night, it still looks good and it still feels nice and supple. So I would definitely recommend this moisturizer if you've been looking for a new moisturizer or if you've been struggling with the current moisturizer you have, you find that it's not moisturizing enough, I would definitely recommend this. It is a bit pricey. It's definitely the most expensive moisturizer I've ever tried, but it's also the best moisturizer I've ever tried. In this video, we're probably going to have more skincare products than actual beauty products, but that's because I'm pretty much more into skincare than I would say makeup and such, but you know, to each their own. So next on the docket is the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the Bioessence or Biolance, Bio, girl, <laughs> Uh, squalene and antioxidant makeup removing cleansing oil now she is $32 not too pricey um, and also I will say that she lasts a long time uh, that goes as well for the honey halo because you don't need that much product I find that when you use more expensive products you don't need to use as much of it Actually, I'll probably just put the pictures on the side of the screen. But this is 6.76 fluid ounces. 
So I'm the type of girl, again, like I said, I take my skincare pretty seriously, except for the nights that I'm too tired to wash my face at night. But I double cleanse typically because I wear sunscreen on a daily basis. Um, so I just want to make sure that I'm getting everything off. And I also like suffer from hyperpigmentation, um, like inflamed skin. And I find when I double cleanse that that actually helps keep that stuff away like it helps clear my skin out so it doesn't get irritated and inflamed so i highly recommend double cleansing if you don't already and if you are looking for a cleansing oil to start um double cleansing i would definitely recommend this one this is also really good for getting your makeup off that's what it advertises itself as but i use this on a nightly basis I only double cleanse at night in the morning i just do a regular hydrating cleanser but I definitely um, have used this to get my makeup off. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it still be a little bit of makeup on, but I find that with anything I use on my face. Like even if I use wipes, I will still find a little bit of makeup in my hairline. So this is really good, highly recommend. So next, we have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Now you've probably seen this across your timeline. It runs at a cute $48. $48. <laughs> I'm be completely honest with you. That is not the sunscreen that I currently use. I, I used to use it. Like I said, the products that I'm recommending to you are all products that I have already used. But I no longer use that sunscreen because of the price point, even though it is a really, really good sunscreen. I love the consistency of it. It looks like a gel and it's like very clear. It has no white cast whatsoever. And I feel like it gives like a kind of a glow to your skin. I think it's it's a it's a wonderful formula. Like Supergoop did they thing with that one. They did their big one. But that price is also a big one. So because I wear sunscreen on a daily base a daily basis, you know, I'm not really into spending $50 on sunscreen every three weeks or every month. So right now I do use a sunscreen from Sephora and it is the Enos Free sunscreen which runs about $20. Um, now that's not on this list because like I said I thought I should recommend products that do have like a bigger price point because of the sale. I feel like it's worth it to splurge on yourself. You know try those products maybe once see if you like it even though that is a dangerous game because if you do like it you're going to be upset if you don't want to keep paying that price because that is how I feel about super group. Like I be wanting to get super group. I do because all girls be raving um, about super group and I know it's true because I've used it myself, but it's just too pricey for me to justify <laughs> that purchase, especially since I found that in this read is a good sunscreen it's not the same consistency it does not look the same but it is that it does not have a white cast and it also gives your skin a bit of a glow so i like that formula as well don't think they're comparable don't think it's a dupe or anything like that but it's just a good sunscreen on its own all right so next we have a fragrance we have the valentina donna born in roma perfume and I did not think I was a girl that liked fruity scents. Like, I thought I liked more of like the musky scents, even in the summer, because the girls be saying that's more of like a winter scent. Not for me, girl. I wear that year long, day, night, Monday through Sunday, okay? But when I first smelled this, I said, oh, I'm a woman. <laughs> I had no idea, girl. So it has like, um, one of the notes is rose. I don't know all the notes, I'm not about to get into that because I really don't know what it quite means myself, so I'm not about to act like I do. But one of the distinctive smells that I once sense that I actually can smell is rose. And it's a beautiful scent. I've gotten so many compliments, so many people that come up to me and be like, girl, what do you have on? And I don't think it's too pricey. You can definitely get it um, at, you know, different sizes. They have it in the travel size. They have it in the small, medium, whatever. But the biggest size is $130. And I do think, um, you know, if you have like the 10%, 15% off, you can get it for like $15, $20 off. Whatever, girl, do the math. Not a mathematician, 
but I definitely think it's worth it, especially for summer coming up. I think it's a perfect scent for the summer, okay? Had them people's on you, had them folks on you, okay? <laughs> so I highly recommend. Okay, so next we have something that is a bit new to me that I have newly tried. I actually have it on right now. And that is the Makeup Forever HB Skin Undetectable Long Wear Foundation. Now this is $45, which I feel like in today's age is not that expensive. Like most foundations that we wear, unless you're wearing um, like drugstore foundation, which is nothing wrong with it. But if you're buying your foundation from Sephora, you're probably spending $40 or more. So it's not that pricey. Prior to this, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury, and I think that's like $48. Um, and I would recommend that one as well. It's just this one is supposed to be better like with lights and such like that. So if you do YouTube, you're a YouTuber, you take a lot of pictures or things of that nature, I would recommend trying this one because it is a fuller coverage and it is really pretty. Now when I be first putting this on girl, I do not think it's my color. So this day, like I still wear it, I think it's pretty, whatever. But girl, when I put it on, it's not, it's not for me. But once it dries down and I do the rest of my face, like obviously it works, like I think it's nice. But sometimes I do be missing my Charlotte Tilbury. Girl, do you like it or not? <laughs> no, I do like it. And I do find with pictures, like I can see like it's like covering my face more. Like I actually tried this foundation because I was watching one of Peyton Marie, um, one of her vlogs, and she was saying like she felt like her pictures look like a filter even though it didn't have a filter because of its foundation and i think i see what she means because when i look in the camera like it just looks like my skin is kind of blurred which you know filters typically do so i think it does do that and it is good for if you are like in lights a lot or if you take a lot of pictures and videos um so if you're an influencer or something like that but if not, I would um, recommend Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. Really good. Um, I don't know about everyday foundation because I don't know if I believe in wearing $50, $50 foundations every day. But it's a really good foundation as well. Okay. This one is definitely pretty popular right now. This whole brand has been pretty popular. It's pretty new. It is the one size until dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray now i think this is pretty pricey for a setting spray it is 32 dollars 32 dollars um i actually did not spend that i have the miniature which i think was i don't know girl don't give me the line but it wasn't 32 dollars so i really like this um I don't know if it is because I got the miniature, but I will say I do not like the nozzle. The way it comes out, I feel like I have to put it right up on my face for the mist to get to me. So I actually use it in combination with something else, which is what I be seeing all the girls on TikTok doing anyway. Now, I'm not doing the combination they're doing because I think they're doing like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray along with this one, which baby, that's an expensive combination. <laughs> the girls got coins that's like $80 on setting spray alone like girl <laughs> what do you like <laughs> y'all be y'all be doing y'all be one for real but I will say that I do like it like I noticed that it does you know mattify my face which I like because girl sometimes I be looking oily okay so i do like it for that but i do not like the nozzle will i buy the big size i think i will in this sale i think i will be buying the big size uh, mostly because i like the brand one size and you know what it stands for and all of that and the packaging is really cute as well so i think i will go ahead and get me the big size okay and you know do a test is the nozzle better on the bigger bottle Next is also kind of a new item in my registry now. It is the Born This Way Concealer. And this is $34. Now that is, I feel like that's pretty regular for a concealer. But again, that can get pricey. Especially if you like shopping at Ulta and getting brands like NYX and um, e.l.f. 
and like uh, what's the other ones? Help me, girl. L'Oreal, Autumn Girls, Cover Girl, all, all the girls. If you're used to getting girls like that, this might be a little pricey for you. But I would definitely, that's why I would definitely recommend shopping during the sale and getting items that you typically wouldn't get. Now, I really like this um, concealer prior to this. I was using the Tarte concealer and I was using that for a long time. Like since I feel like I started doing my makeup and like I kind of transitioned from using um, like colors that wasn't really my color. Once I started kind of knowing what I was doing, I started using the Tarte concealer. And it was kind of doing it for me, but it wasn't really doing it for me entirely. So um, I saw a lot of the TikTok girls talking about the Born This Way and how it's like more of like a full coverage concealer, which is what I needed, especially like filming. Um, I feel like I have to, you know, do more to my makeup, um, kind of make sure that it is more full coverage so the lights don't kind of like, you know, wash it out and take over. But so far as I've been using that, I really like it. I like um, the packaging. I like um, the container. I feel like you're getting much more bang for your buck than the Tarte. And I feel like the Tarte is the same price. If it's not, it's like four dollars cheaper so i definitely recommend this concealer um and if there's any other concealers that y'all recommend please put them down in the comments because i'm really not knowing what else to try like what other concealers are there besides like tarte and um born this way I, I have no idea so um oh tarte Too Faced. i forgot what the actual brand was be it Too Faced, born this way what else is there girl I have no idea okay so next we have the dr. Dennis Rose AHA BHA daily cleansing gel and the full size of this is $39 now this is something that I also use on a daily basis well a nightly basis this is part of my nighttime routine it's the second cleanser that I used so after I do the um, the squalene oil cleanser and I tone I will then go in with the AHA BHA cleansing gel and because it has the AHA BHA it helps for my skin to exfoliate and it also helps with the inflamed skin um, that I experienced since I've been using this I have definitely had less outbreaks um, less painful outbreaks because when I tell you I get very like some very painful like just to the touch like it would just feel like something is stabbing me so since I have been using it this it has definitely helped so if you have inflamed skin or if you know someone who has inflamed skin girl get them some of that AHA BHA uh, cleansing gel but I do also feel like it works in conjunction with the cleansing oil because when I be trying to be lazy and just do the AHA BHA um, and not double cleanse, I noticed that my skin be having more outbreaks. So, you know, you kind of have to have a system um, in place. You got to know what works for your skin. What works for someone's skin might not work for yours because y'all don't have the same issues. That's why I'm saying if you have inflamed skin, I'm not saying, oh, everybody should try this. No, that's not really how anything works. Everything is not for everybody. Next on the docket is the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. And it runs at $80 a pop. <laughs> now, um, when we talk about serums, I feel like it's not uncommon for them to be $80 or around that price range. Like serums are pretty pricey because they're usually like pulling a big weight, like they're doing the big job. You know what I mean? Um, they do offer like a smaller size of the oil. I think it's the 0.5 ounce, so it's kind of like a half size for $40. That one's usually sold out first. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess why. But it's a really good oil. Prior to this, I was using the... What was I using? I was using a... Oh, the Dermalogica Vitamin C. And that's $90. So that's like $10 more. And I wanted to like it so bad. But I honestly did not see like any any changes in my skin. 
and I was using it every day um, I didn't really see anything since I've been using this oil like I just noticed that my skin is so much brighter um, not lighter I want, want us to understand that brightening is different than lightening like when you brighten something you're just it's like it's like a glow type of thing um, it's like more of a, a tone than a color if that makes sense because it, it's barely making sense in my head but it's two different things okay I have noticed that my skin has been much brighter and it seems like much more even toned and people even be complimenting me like girl like you glowing like your skin looks really good and I really think it is the CEO glow and I hate to say it <laughs> because I hate when I like the products that are expensive you know I wish I could like the products that are a little bit cheaper but when something's gonna work or if something works for me I'm usually gonna stick with it regardless of the price because I'm all about the results you know what I mean I'm gonna pay for results so I will probably continue using the CEO glow until I find something that is better um, and if it's at a better price point so I definitely recommend for that recommend that I remember the first person that I spoke to about that in Sephora he was a black man and he was saying that he used it he had beautiful skin and he was saying the turmeric in it is really good for darker skin tones um, or melanated skin tones because turmeric is really good at kind of catching up on um, pigment and um, lighten it up so like hyperpigmentation acne scars like that it's really helpful for that um so i definitely recommend it's i would not say like it's definitely going to lighten up your scars necessarily like you're going to have to use it in conjunction with something else which i think i have something on this list that you could and that i definitely use it with but it will improve your overall skin tone so next we have the topicals faded serum for dark spots and discoloration and that is 38 dollars so i believe this counts as another serum and like i was saying this could be used in conjunction with the ceo glow so you use the ceo glow in the morning and then you use faded at night now you kind of have to ease into using faded because it is a very strong formula and baby you probably heard it already but it does not smell good but pretty much like I feel like every product that is marketed as um, like uh, dark spots fader or whatever doesn't smell good. It must be the ingredients that that calls for because um, I can't even explain to you what it smells like but it just smells horrible. But it works baby it definitely works. Um, but make sure you read the directions if you are going to use it so you can know how to properly use it but it's definitely something you use at night all right y'all so those are all the recommendations that i have for you for the upcoming sephora sale i hope that you get all the items that you want and i hope that you try some of the items that i suggested if there are any other items that you think that i should try feel free to leave them down in the comment box below and i'll see you in the next video bye